Greetings Facebookers. Here's a very cool thing. As you can see, I'm in our acoustic room right now and I'm joined here by an old mate of mine from Australia, a guy by the name of Ian. Say hello, Ian. Hello, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Typical Australian humour. Yeah. Now, one of my customers has purchased this beautiful S Yadi. Now, a lot of people say Yari. It's actually Yadi. It's Y-A-I-R-I. In Japanese, A and I together is pronounced as I, like we would say the I in your head for that matter, or I as in I am Jason. I is Ian. In and I have learned something today because I've been saying Yari, right? I've been saying it wrong. You've been saying Yari like yeah. an Aussie. Now, this is an original 1977 S Yadi. A lot of people are familiar with both S and K, but don't know a hell of a lot of differences. One difference that we've discovered from looking inside of the guitar, funny enough, is that the Ks are made in Gifu, but the S here is made in Nagoya. Now, it actually says inside, if we get it on the angle here, so we'll go this way for the light, and there you go, you can see inside of there. The, the, That's not uh, a sticker, is it? No, yeah. it's actually a wood engraved. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool. So there you go. So it's Sada Yaidi Nagoya made in Japan. Very, very cool. Um, now you can see that the lacquer has cracked over time, which is very standard with Gibsons, Fenders, Martins, and obviously this guitar as well. That tells you that the guitar is made out of nitro cellulose lacquer. Um, the frets on this thing are in incredibly good condition. The frets are really lovely. Um, everything about this guitar is really, really nice. It hasn't bowed. Here no, not at all. It's fairly nice. Often the top will come up on an old acoustic like this. Very true. Now the reason I'm showing all of you guys this, even though it's already sold, is I get a lot of people asking me about nice old Japanese acoustics, and Ian is a much better acoustic player than I am. So give him a listen to what this thing sounds like, please. Okay, no worries. Well, and this is quite a surprise. <laughs> Now, for the record, for those of you watching, Ian is tuned with double drop Ds. So he's got the E here at D and the E here at D. And in the middle, everything is tuned normal. So there are three Ds for that matter. Yeah, so if, you, if you're tuning to this tuning and you get these three Ds ringing, well, you do the math, Jason, that's halfway done, right? Exactly. And then just your regular A, yeah. regular D, regular B. I did notice I got a pick and the bottom end is quite... <laughs> It's quite big, yeah. So just a quick difference between doing it with your fingers and doing it with... Uh, oh, okay, pick. sure. Pick first? Yeah, sure. And fingers. So, mm. Folks, um, just one quick last point. With nitro guitars, unfortunately, these sorts of burn marks on the headstocks and bodies is quite normal. Um, but this guitar, as you can see here, it's got a little milky on the sides, um, and then there's a bit of scratching and stuff on the back. You can't do much about that. But the overall condition of this guitar is excellent. Um, it's a lovely player. It's lovely to listen to. The action on this thing is stunning. Can I just get you to turn it around so I can show them down the neck? The action on that level if you can move your hand out of the way for a sec. There you go. It's a beautiful low action. I mean, for a 1977 guitar, this thing's crazy good. So there you go, folks. There's a look at 
a beautiful original 1977 S80 made here in Japan. Mm -hmm. And we have other S Yadi and K Yadi guitars available here for Mishibashi Music. Thanks a lot. Thanks Ian. Oh thank you.